Dinner is chill. Yeah, I didn't even change my clothes, man. I'm jumping straight into video after video after video. I hope I get these out to you. Faster and faster and faster. That's probably not gonna happen. Howdy folks, welcome back to Break Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty, oh you're watching Beamus. Alternative bricks that I can bring to you. What the hell is this thing? So what you're looking at is from Juhang, the golf resort course. 86017, 3,222 pieces. I'm just gonna call the set damn thing because it's good and bad, but mostly it's it's a damn thing. This damn thing comes with this motor. It's the first time I've seen it. It's a USB motor. I'll show you a picture of it. Have you guys seen anything like it? Now you have. So the idea of this golf course is that you're supposed to power it in and things come to life and you can play ball. When I first saw this, I'm like, yes, man. I've never seen anything quite like it. You know me, I gotta get things I've never seen before. And it's a miniature golf style or golf. You know, I love miniature golf. And I think it's great that they made a set like this. Now it is similar to the ideas one. I'll show you a picture side by side. There are some similarities, but this one takes it to a, a completely different level. It's like they were inspired, but they're like, we're gonna do it on our own. We're gonna motorize it. We're gonna make it totally different. It's expanded, it's bigger, and it is crazy. This is the book right here. It's very thick. And this set is not small. It's bigger than some modulars I've seen. And although it looks easy to read, this is one of the most challenging sets I've built. Some people ask me why, why I take so long. Even Ida was like, why are you taking so long to build this thing? This thing is really tricky to put the motor inside. If you go step by step, you gotta be absolutely patient putting this thing together. A lot of the gears are gonna fall in, so you have to like, or it's like floating when you're building it. You gotta make sure you hold the gear, which is impossible to do. My tip for that, and I've mentioned this before, is use a little bit of blue tack to hold the gear so that you can line up the poles so that when you turn it, it'll be fine. Trust me, man, that's gonna be your best friend for this set. I might just start using blue tack more often. But the worst part about the set, it's in so many layers. If you start building up, pieces are gonna drop down below and it's gonna be like, damn it, man. Then you gotta go backward or like rip open the set and get your hands in there. It is really hard to get in here. And then on top of that, as you're building different layers, you're gonna build a lot of things sideways. So everything that you see like a platform, it's not flat tiles pushed down, it's tiles being pushed sideways. That means it can collapse a little bit easy. It's not perfect. And you gotta really, really watch out for the motor because things can catch. Let me just walk you through the set first. I'm gonna break it down and then we're gonna turn on the motor. And the more number one question that everyone's asking is, is it a playable set? You're gonna find out really soon. But first of all, initial impressions. I do like the color and the tone. It's kind of like a golf course that has different seasons going on. You know, like winter, autumn, spring, I guess the top part is summer on that corner. This thing is very heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. I thought it was gonna be a really small set. I thought it was gonna be really, really easy to build. It is not, man. It's pretty frustrating. And even when you get this thing running, it just all kind of feels gimmicky. For me, I just wanted a golf course that I can put into a brick city if I ever make a brick city. But if you look at it from like different angles like this, it still feels a little bit incomplete. I would not have even minded it to be a very simple set that just has a nice flushed out look to it and just be played manually, it's just fine. There are a lot of knobs on this set and all those knobs are done manually. It's just the motor controls a certain part of the set. It was overkill, man. When you see what the motor does, you're like, all that for that? That's what I felt like. I finished the set going, damn man, doing all that just to get that? Maybe you don't want to install the motor. Yeah, you can install the set without it. Just ignore all the gears part. And that's another problem too. The instructions is hell. Even though you can see the instructions really easily, the layers, because of the way that the, the perspective of the book, here I'll try to show you a page. Some layers look like they're on top and some layers look like they're on the bottom and you're trying to put placements here and there. And a lot of the support, the bricks are hanging off by one stud, like just literally hanging like a bridge. And those pieces can come off really super easy. I'm like, oh, damn it, damn set. Only when I got to the very end, like the hut and like the waterfall area here became very easy. But anyway, let's just start here on the bottom. Right here, it looks like the entrance area. You got steps coming up here and 
If you look at the ideas version, this is actually to hold the golf clubs. You get three figures for the set. They're on here already, but you only get two golf clubs. Don't ask me why. I like the bench area and I like the tree. The tree was actually pretty okay, but you do have to slot that tree in sideways. The design of the tree, the branches, the way it looks kind of organic looking from the bottom and you go up, looks really good, but whoa. Are they using pink frogs for leaves? That is so bizarre. And on the side, there is one knob there. It's one of the mechanisms to, to rotate the characters. And all the knobs do is just like rotate each guy. That's it on different parts of this table. So the only rotation and then the motor that controls the water mill and some moving staircase and some little obstacle course on the top and that's it. So I guess we'll start with the bench and where you're gonna walk to first. So you're gonna come to this area down here and this is the first knob right there. So you can see that I'm turning it. You're gonna whack the ball and we'll, we'll try a game later, but just to show you first that and the platform can actually go up and down, but there it goes up. Takes forever to go up. And it'll just stop and it'll go, oh there, no, never mind. Then it goes back down. Is that it? That's it. So yeah, it's like, oh, you're probably gonna wanna put it up and there, and it slides out really easy if I take it out like that. There, you can start to see some of the bad memories when I was building this set. Pattern right there, sticker is going over all those tiles. And this is a perfect example to show you that when you're building it, it's like upright, yeah? But then everything gets put in sideways. This is a sideways set, man. Can I get this even back in here again? So the idea is you whack the piece or you whack the ball, which is just a single stud like that. And you're supposed to whack it through and you come over and it goes under the hut and there's a hole here and you're supposed to drop it in this little hole and there's a little tray at the bottom here to catch your ball. I'm sure it's gonna get stuck, man. And I do like this side where the water actually looks like it's pouring down out of the set. So it's little things like that actually is pretty good on the set. What's crazy is when you get the motor running, it, the motor goes way too fast. It's like it's on crack, man. It's no, you can't control the power of it. Maybe if you have like a power bank that's running out of batteries, it might slow down. You're supposed to have all these flaps open. It'll catch, man, on the bricks down below. Close those, man. That's my tip because I kept catching it and it kept getting jammed up. It was being caused by this thing. This was fine to put together. Stickers on the wood part looks fine. It just kind of reminds me of Juhang's time room with that orange. Remember that? That sets on sale right now. And this orange area was actually okay. You know, I definitely like the look of it. The trees are kind of crazy. They're like futuristic trees. They're supposed to like bend a little bit in more, but these parts stick out. But anyway, it looks fine like that. So there's a staircase that goes there. So once your ball goes in here, I guess you start down here and you walk up here. You can walk up from the backside as well. And where do you go? I don't know. So you have to make your own rules. You like jump over and you come to this hole here. So let's put this guy with no golf club on this side here. And the knob for him is right there. You can see him. Some of the areas actually have the stickers going right over the hole. They're gonna rip the stickers apart, man. And you're gonna see a lot of that in the, in the close-ups. But there you go, so now he's in this whole area. Ball is gonna supposed to go down here, I guess. This ramp and to the staircase. It's just a couple of technical pieces underneath going like that. So it's like rippling across, so the staircase will ripple. And don't worry, you'll see it all motorized in a bit. If I was to take out a piece there, you can kind of see how the staircase comes in and out very easy. So it's just like it's all floaty. Oh, great, now I got it all stuck. I forgot which way you're actually supposed to hit the ball, down the stairs or up the stairs? It doesn't really matter because this area, no matter where it goes, there's nowhere for the ball to go. It's just, it'll just keep going in circles no matter what you do. There's no hole that you can drop down into. They planned that out real good. This is a crazy area. There's another staircase here to come up and this is like the winter area. I do like the bottom hole look. It looks like a hoth, right? Like Luke's on hoth fighting the wampa. Gotta have a hanging down Luke in there somewhere. And that's where the motor is placed on the inside. But again, the whole platform, all this, all this shit that you see is built sideways. Nothing's being pushed down. Man, you're gonna be pushing so many pieces inside. I'm sure I have a lot of loose parts inside too. And you're gonna see in a lot of the close-ups where there'll be a lot of gaps. You might be like, Scotty, why is there gaps everywhere? You didn't close it off or you rushed it. No, man, you can't push down too hard on these things or else the whole thing will flop apart. There's another platform along here. So I guess we can put our 
yellow guy. We'll put him up here. Oh, I lost this golf club. The knob is right here to control him. So now you can be here and go whack, whack, and then you whack, and the ball will go through this obstacle course, which is like two things that go back and forth. The motor. By the way, the motor is freaking loud, man. And a tip too, if you're really gonna use the motor, every single layer that you do, keep checking the motor. Have it plugged in all the time so it doesn't catch on anything. And it was fine until I got to a certain part where it's just like totally clicks. You, have, you can hear a really loud click sound and it sucks. And I don't wanna go back in there and fix it. It's too, too painful. I wish there was an easier way to access everything. So you're supposed to hit your ball across all these stickers. Yes, those are all stickers. Look at that sticker, I got that just wrong. And you come to this area that looks, looks like a basketball court. So I'll put the yellow guy here on this platform now. And the uh, knob for it is right there. So he hits that and it goes, boo. I guess he's gonna hit it down here. Which doesn't make sense because there's another hole up here. So I guess the ball will travel from here. It'll pew, and go into this hole. So you're probably wondering how do you get the ball out of the set? I'll show you if it's even possible because I haven't even done it myself but it's the weirdest thing and it was a weird placement. But anyway, I guess that's another hole there. So he comes walking down like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and he's gonna stand over here. And the knob for him is over here by the tree. And he's rolling over the sticker. Oh, it's gonna tear that sticker up. So he's not gonna hit the ball there because that's where the ball was from up here. He's gonna actually hit the ball up this ramp, I guess. And how are you gonna place that? I don't know. Yeah, not really playable, more of a gimmick type of thing to me. But it looks cool, right, on the camera. It's like, yeah, it looks, looks flashy. So you hit it up, and it's supposed to go here across the bridge, back into Winter Wonderland, and fall down this hole. And then there's a little tray down here where you pick it up. How are you gonna get it? Tweezers, man. That's the only way. And it's really unfortunate because up here is the water fountain start. There's nothing here. They could have made like one more area here. They just wasted it. The stream in the middle, it's super loose for me, man. That's supposed to be all held down. I, I gave up on that. I'm like, I can't figure it out. It's getting too close. Maybe the bricks are being pushed into each other. You're gonna see a lot of that, like super tight fitting. In the middle of the stream, you've got some grass and bamboos there, not much else there. I mean, in the end, it's fine. That one's not gonna function or do anything. I originally thought it was gonna be like another place to play, but that's just where the water goes down. That's just a display thing. And that's, my guys, it's this crazy golf course, right? So on the, if I go back to here, we, if I lift it up here and try to pry it open, oh man. I guess that's where you're supposed to collect your ball in this area, but I don't know how to get to it, man. It's like crazy, I don't know, it's kind of useless. Like, do they need to make that? Not really. Were they intending to do something else with this thing? I have no idea, man. Now, if I flip it to show you the bottom here, that's on multiple plates, kind of scary. Like, see, there's like a lot of little holes there. Yeah, this is nuts, man. I kind of wish I could show you the inside. You know what? I'll show you a couple of screenshots and videos that I've re recorded for this video to show you how the motor works and how it's running from the first step in the middle of the build and at the end of the build. In the beginning, you can see that it's fine. It works okay and where the gears go exactly. The second time was a little bit better. I managed to work things out, but the third time, you know what, we don't need to show you the third time. Third time is the final time. I'm gonna show it to you right now. So you need to get a power bank or an extension plug bar. I have one right here from the wall. So this is gonna probably fly. It's gonna be really loud. Ready? Three, two, one. It's working. It's not catching on anymore. You see the water mill thing spinning? That's a bit excessive. How are you gonna pass the ball through that, man? There's no way. Here's a better view of the staircase part. So you can see the thing is plugged in, it's still running, it hasn't crashed you out on me yet. I'm worried it will soon. And then here, it's a little obstacle course area two cone pieces right there. That's it, man. The motor is doing all three of these and you gotta spend so much time to get it running just for that. You know, why not make the tree with bamboos here, spin around, do other things, man. You gotta do like five other things, three things that are so minor. 
Yeah, it's kind of crazy, man. Okay, I'm gonna turn the motor on and off each time so that I don't get doesn't get too annoying. We're gonna set up the first guy down here. Okay, let's see if we can get this looking good. So here's the other thing too. You're not gonna reach that much farther, so you gotta move the guy, but there's only one stud for the whole core, so I don't know how you're going to do that. Okay, so you go whap, whap. Oh, let's put the platform up. This way. There we go. Ah, much better. Okay. Let's whack the crap out of the thing. Oh, I can't whack it. Oh, power move. Pow. Oh, only went halfway. So now I get to use your finger. You're going to use my finger. That's the only way. Watch this. Oh, I made it. But now it's stuck in between the windmill and my finger. It's there. It's not through the hot part. Okay, so there it is. So just pretend it goes down to here. And like, oh, cool, man. Let's get it from the little tray right there. My fingers can't fit in the tray. <sighs> Told you, man. Gonna have to use a pair of tweezers to get in there. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna move the tree so you guys can see it from this camera. There, much better. So dude comes walking up here, I guess. Do I start here? I guess I do. Put him here. There's your there's your golf ball. And you're gonna whack this thing, right? You're gonna whack it real hard, go pow! Oh! Ready? Pow! Nope. Oh! Oh! Oh, it looks like it's failing, guys. What happened? I burned out the motor. There we go. Oh, something wants to fail. It's gonna fail on me, guys. I've been running it too long. Oh, let's, okay, I'll keep that off first. Let's just whack this thing. And let's pretend, you can't even hit the thing. Maybe you can have to set it up in the right way, but just, see? There, and it only goes like halfway. So it goes here. Okay, let's pretend it goes down this little ramp here, there. It's still not there. Okay, there, it's on the staircase. So it will work. Oh, it looks like one staircase. Oh, there we go. No, it doesn't really work there. Oh. I think it's a staircase jamming up a little bit. You guys are seeing this with me in first for the first time, so something probably got caught here underneath, and there's no way I can get to it. So that's the bad thing about this. Or did I completely kill the motor? We almost had it, but we can still do this. Let's cool down the motor and hope that it still works. I personally probably won't go back in there and let it run anymore, but the last part that we just didn't quite get to see in action was these two parts going. Let's see if it will work again. It's trying to go. Yo, the shot that you're looking at right here, right now, it's been a couple weeks, man. And guess what? It was overheated. So like when I put the, the USB in, it works perfectly fine now. So if I were to put the, the ball there, well, that piece, and slide it through. Oh! Yeah, that's the idea anyway. So, look, it's gonna crash out any minute. I give this thing a couple minutes before it crashes out, man. So turn it off and save your power. Anyway, here, I'm giving him a helping hand right now. So as you can see here, we move this golfer guy, put this one up here. Same deal, he's supposed to stand here and whack it and it will go across. We saw this earlier and it comes to here and I guess you stand him here. See, all the manual stuff works just fine, man. You whack it, supposedly it's gonna go all over the place here. So I don't know why they designed this area like that. It's supposed to go into this hole, and I guess that's where you get it from here. I really don't wanna drop it down there right now. And the final hole should be here on the slope area. Thank goodness we don't need the motor there. You whack it, it goes all the way across the top and it goes into this little tray. And I see it, but same deal. You need a pair of tweezers to get to it. What if I went like this? Does that work? It's still trying to turn, man. Yep, Scotty probably killed this golf course, but you know what? I don't mind that because this is just like a bonus thing for me. I wasn't even expecting like 
craziness to happen with the motor. I just wish it was a lot easier. I might have been more happier. But overall, I mean, it's still kind of crazy looking when you see it on the camera. It does look really good. I mean, if you stuck this in a city, like in a park area, it would look great. Don't use the motor if you don't want to. You know, lower the thing down and they'll be okay. The stickers didn't like it going over across everything. And I just didn't like the fact that the build is all sideways. And you just saw a perfect example, something caught on the motors. How do I get to it now? You literally have to take off pieces and then go sideways to take everything out to find out where the problem is. It's a nightmare just thinking about that. But of course we do have three golfers that come with us. Let's take a look at the golfers. All three of them look completely evil with their smirks on their face. The printings are pretty standard stuff. You got a couple here with matching outfits. They just look like they want to beat each other in the game. Surprisingly for Ju Hang set, they look okay, just fine. And the guy in yellow with his outfit. And it looks like a very simple build for the golf club. So you guys can just find three pieces to make more. They should have made more. Maybe there's a third golf club somewhere and I just don't have it here. It is now time for dimensions. Boom, this thing is actually very big. So I'm gonna slide it here out of the way. I'm gonna put down two base plates here. Then we're gonna lift the set back up. The good thing is this thing is pretty sturdy. I haven't lost anything on it. And that is around 51 studs by length. The width is also pretty long. So if I slide this over here, rotate it here for you guys on the side and just kind of match where am I going there. Can you see that? The cropped off there, probably. It's kind of kettle doing it this way, but just to show you guys, that's around 39 studs by width. For the height, it's not that high. We're gonna do it by the trees. Let's get your one by four bricks and stack them up closer to the trees. Oh, it's, it's kind of like around there. And that is around 21 bricks in height. It does have some thickness, you know? It's gonna go quite high if you put it in your park. All right, the video is done. You know what that means? It's time to drop this damn thing. Do I give a damn? Kind of, you know, I'm gonna be crying on the inside if I had to rebuild this thing again. Ah, let's see how sturdy this is. Hey man, this thing actually survived. What came off? The froggies on the trees and the trees. That's pretty much it. Oh, the staircase got a little bit loose here on this side. The pieces kind of came out. I wonder if this thing will still run. Let's find out. Oh man. The total mess now. But that doesn't sound good. Oh, there, it's spinning. Oh, I gotta spin again. It's just this part. Okay, it's gotta be pushed down a little bit. There we go. No, I just made it worse, you guys. Turkey's still going. There. Oh, there we go. Yeah. We're rocking. So that was a quick look at Chu Hung's Golf Resort course i think it looks great if you want a really good challenge go for it if you want my advice you got to really take your time just like as you saw now even i took my time you saw it working flawlessly perfectly fine it's been like this for a couple of weeks i put up videos and it was working okay until just now on camera it just kind of slowed down so i gotta go in there and check it do i want to probably not i'm probably just gonna leave it like this or maybe i will sell it soon i don't know who knows because this one i don't know if it's gonna work out for me or not but it is available on my store, BrickMeUpScotty.com. A few of you have bought it already. But there, thank you so much for your support. And you know, you can mock the hell out of this thing and make it into your own course. I'm just saying that to make you feel better for myself. All right, you guys, it's time to go. Get out of here. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll bring you more, right? Until next time, Brick Me Up. Swing! So if you're an OCD fan and you want things to be very flushed down, this set is not for you. 
I'm just gonna see if this works one more time. If it was, if it was just like powering out. There we go. That's interesting. Now I'm guessing that it might be a heat issue or like going for way too long, too fast and it's burning itself out. 